This is Diane and I am sitting at NAMM and I've got Hugo from Beyond Creation. How are you doing? Very good. Yourself? I am great. I just caught your demo up at the Neutral DSP booth and it was a lot of fun. How did you decide to play with them? Um, I asked them if they had a spot for performance and they replied right away they had, they had one for me, so I'm pretty happy. Have you worked with them very long? Uh, no. no, just a couple months. So while you're here at NAMM, are you sponsored by anybody else? And what are you doing while you're here? What are you looking for? Uh, yes, I'm sponsored by uh, Kiesel guitars, BSM noisemaker pedals, Elixir strings, and GHS uh, accessories. Uh, I'm here to hang out, catch up with friends, and represent my bands. I'm with uh, Equipoise guys, and we're actually starting a tour right after NAMM. We have some shows in California, and then we're flying to Mexico for a tour with Faceless and Origin. So uh, yeah, a lot of things going on, but uh, mainly to have fun, hang out, do the good old Nam gear trying thing. Now you guys just had a tour not too long ago with Fallujah as well. Yeah. So what is it like for you, you know, going from one tour with one band and then you're on tour with another, and then what is it that you love the most while you're on tour? Uh, I like to play in multiple bands because it makes a lot of movement in terms of relations with people and with uh, the actual material being played. From going from one to the other, what is it that you love the most? I mean, you've got that, but then what is it like for me switching from you were with Fallujah with one band and then now you're out with another? Is it too hard for you to transition or is it really easy? It's not really a problem for me. I like to um, take time between tours to do other stuff than music and uh, really going back to songs from a different band and practicing that for a while than being on stage. Uh, like I said, I like ver variety and like the movement it creates to uh play different different things uh but thing i like the most is being on stage and uh also different bands um ask me for uh different roles to fill in general as management or just like uh taking care of the business or stuff so it's just a lot of different tasks to do so before you started touring yourself, did you do other stuff besides like as, as a band? But did you do work as a tech or out on the run? And there's always, there's so many people who go into this business that make it happen. Was that part of what you were doing first? Uh, before I started touring, I was uh, involved in a music school uh, when I was a teenager and I was uh, wearing a lot of hats even back then. And uh, it actually took me to NAM when I was uh, 16 in 2011 and I was also here in 2012. So I was kind of involved uh, in this uh, part of the industry, not, not in a close way like I am uh, today especially, but um, I knew that I was gonna keep doing that for sure. So for you as a musician then on the other side of it, what's the most surprising thing to you as it being a business that you've learned being out on the road? The most surprising thing, uh, there's there's a lot, but I think I'm more like a DIY kind of guy, so I like to learn uh, how to use different softwares or different parts of uh, promotion platforms and just taking care of it and uh, see how I can push every band to the next step for it. and um, Yeah, it's just every time you learn something, you realize that you don't know much, you know, so. Well, everything changes so much. So about your technique on how you play, how did you develop your technique and is there anything you still you feel like you're weak with in your technique that you want to work on? Yes, a lot of things. Um, I kind of started uh, in the touring bands uh, thing by learning stuff from previous bass players that happened in uh, multiple bands. So I was always kind of uh, learning new material every couple months. So that really inspired me to uh, practice different techniques and reach uh, always a uh, higher level. Uh, so I'm really uh, inspired by uh, Dominic Forrest, the previous uh, Beyond Creation bassist. So I uh, took a lot of my techniques and writing style from him. And um, yeah, always try to uh, implement new stuff and uh, I really want to work on uh, slapping and uh, practicing my technique in general, just be more fluidity and uh, less um, cramps and all that stuff. Now, do you teach at all? Yeah, I teach. You do you teach kids or do you teach people of your own age? 
Uh, or is that a mix? Yeah, it's not. I, I used to work in the music school, like I mentioned, so that was a lot of kids. But now it's mostly like people that follow my bands, and sometimes it's uh, people older, sometimes people younger. And so, do you teach in a traditional format where you meet with people, or do you do Skype lessons as well? Yeah, I do Skype lessons strictly. So, you guys, you can check him out to get you get some lessons, drum up some business for you. Definitely. So, you guys have your tour coming up. To, you're jumping on right after NAM is over. What else do you have planned this year? Um, after the Mexican tour, I'm going uh, on a tour with Exis and Replicire as a tour manager. Uh, that's going to be uh, 10 days, and then I'm going to be home for two weeks, and then we fly to Europe with Beyond Creation for a tour with Decapitated, and yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. And we have some festivals booked for the summer, and we're going to working on filling the gaps right now right. for the rest of the year. Are you guys doing any writing right now? Uh, somewhat, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. And guys, make sure you check them out. They're going to be over in the EU. You want to catch this tour. And thanks a lot. Have a great time here at NAMM. Thank you so much.